Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer, and just like we do every Tuesday, we're going to take a look at some of the online video news from last week and talk about the implications it has for us as creators. And I got a couple of YouTube updates I want to talk to you guys about. But first of all, there is an article over at Brafton.com's website called Fair Use, a Guide to Citations and Avoiding Plagiarism on the Web. And I want to take some of the things to talk about that article and summarize them for you guys here real quick. The first of all, what is fair use? What constitutes fair use? Fair use is basically a clause in the Copyright Act here in the United States that lets people use copyrighted material in their content provided that a couple considerations are taken into account and there are four of them. Number one, the purpose and character of the use is commercial in nature. Two, the nature of the copyrighted work has to be taken into consideration. Three, the amount used of the copyrighted work in relation to the entire creation that the new creator is making. And then four, the effect it has on the value of the whole copyrighted work that you are presumably taking for some other creator and using in your content. If you are doing something with that content in a way that devalues that other person's, the original creators, the copyright holders content, then that would be taken into consideration and probably wouldn't work out too well in your favor. Now, obviously these are all very broad and general guidelines. So let me give you guys three different rules to maybe follow that will help you avoid getting into trouble with fair use and using other people's copyrighted material in your videos here on YouTube. Number one is make sure you are using more original content of your own than you are of borrowed copyrighted material from other people. Now, this blog from Brafton.com suggests that you use like a 70-30 rule. 70% 70 of your video should be your own content and about 30% of it could be other people's copyrighted material. There's no hard and fast rule on that. The general principle is to use as much original material as you can while using as little copyrighted material as you can. And it's even better if you are using the original material to give commentary on the copyrighted work that you are talking about. Number two, the case for fair use in your video becomes a bit stronger when you're using multiple sources rather than just one source and taking a lot of different copyrighted material from that one source and using that in your video. So the more outside sources that you're pointing to, referencing, using as supporting points in contrast for whatever you're talking about in your video, the better. And number three, make sure you give credit to the source and the author of that content. Nothing is worse for fair use than using someone else's content and trying to play it off like it's your own like you made it or something. I'll put a link in the description text of this video or you can go read their full article if you want to dig into this a little bit more. But I would just tell you guys that if you are using fair use as like a catch-all excuse for why you're able to use any type of copyrighted material out there that you want inside your videos, that is simply not the case. Fair use doesn't work that way and you can still get fined and go to court and have a big ordeal on your hands even if you are legitimately using copyrighted material in a fair use scenario because only a court of law can actually decide whether or not what you are doing with your content is considered fair use. YouTube doesn't make calls on that. If the copyright owner sees your video through content ID or some other method and thinks that your video is violating their copyright somehow, then they can flag your video, take monetization away from your video. They can even issue you a copyright strike if they'd like. So here's what I recommend for any of you guys who are creators who are relying pretty heavily on fair use in order Order to make your content and your videos. I'll put a link in the description text below this video to a lawyer that I use. He specializes in online creative type stuff and I highly recommend that you schedule an appointment with him. His name is Kenneth Kunkel to review your videos, go over fair use and get some guidelines and pointers of how safe are you? Are you getting up to some like lines that you probably don't want to cross? His fees are very reasonable and getting someone up front to review your content can potentially save you way more money, way more expenses and headaches, and even potentially losing your entire YouTube channel down the road. I also want to talk with you guys real quick about an update that is rolling out to YouTube. The watch page is changing a little bit if you haven't noticed already. The info bar below the video is now just making it very easy for you to add videos to playlists, to share your videos, and do other things. We've already talked about this in a previous video because I thought it already rolled out to everyone. Turns out I got this feature like months ago and it's just now rolling out to everyone. So my apologies for that, but we did talk about this in more detail already and what this means for you guys as creators. So a link to that video is in the description below this video as well. And I also put a link down there for you guys who are gaming channels who are looking for some of YouTube's top recommended strategies for how you can grow your YouTube channel as a Let's Play gaming channel. And then for those of you guys who support this channel on Patreon, I got a couple links for you guys there as well about some changes Facebook is making to their algorithm and how we share videos to 
the news feed that people are seeing there. And I'll also be sharing a link with you guys on Patreon about what we've been learning about what's happening on Google search now that Google no longer shows like video thumbnails really from websites. And that post will talk about how we update our strategies now for ranking well in search and getting people to click on our videos. But while you're going to check in all those links out, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below about what your experience has been like with using a fair use type of copyrighted material here on YouTube. And especially if you have any other advice or principles that you think would be valuable for other creators in how to avoid issues with fair use on YouTube, please share those below. The rest of you guys, if you are using a lot of copyrighted material and banking on fair use to kind of protect you, definitely go down there and read the comments of what other creators are sharing. And if this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe. Every week we do videos just like this to help you guys out as creators by looking at what's been changing in this online video industry and what it means for us as creators. Tomorrow on Wednesdays, I give you guys some YouTube tips, ideas, suggestions, advice. And then on Thursdays, we do some YouTube Q&A where I take one of your questions and do my best to answer it because I really believe that a lot of you guys have messages that could really help people and even change the world. If people who need to hear what you have to say could just find you and hear what you have to say. So thank you for letting me be a part of helping you guys grow your audiences and your YouTube channels. Subscribe and I will see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.